this anime that I thought was gonna be just the most generic, casual, just another isekai is actually hitting on topics that I never expected them to hit. It's fundamentally different because ours is obviously, you, he's not OP himself. His appraisal ability allows everyone else around him to be kind of scouted and become OP. But on top of that, the themes of like the socioeconomic status, the wealth gaps happening, how to handle like a proper nation, giving kids hope. There's a lot of like actually good themes that they're talking about. This is not just a trashy isekai with the existence of just like big titty wife who's carrying the show. <coughs> Level two cheat skill. I love Fenris though, but hey, let's see what's going to happen in today's episode. Time skip? No, not yet. Looks like they came back from Skana War. So, Sates is like the place that we're against, and we are that small part in Kanade District. Team morale good? The young lady. The magician. How old was she? Three years ago? How old was she? Uh, she, she was 15 three years ago, right? This is why I got baited. She's 14 right now? That's fucking crazy. That's insane. Is this what happens when you actually feed a girl proper food? Because I think like you can argue that before when she was like an orphan, she, she was a fucking stick. She ate nothing. She comes over here, starts eating some noble food. God damn, she grew. And she fucking baited me. I thought she was going to be the de facto, just like the milf wizard, you know, the, the archetype in the opening. But it's like, nah, she's fucking 14 right now. That's crazy, dude. But last episode, the dad was like, yo, this woman, she can't fucking join. And then Fireball, she's like, okay, she's in. So now she's just hard carrying this show, huh? OP. <laughs> Cameraman. Ours? Did he grow? I can't tell if ours grew or not. Okay. And she's just this fucking meteor. Fireball. Fireball. Lady of Flames. Damn. What else do we have right now, right? Hold on. Prowess and leadership is up, obviously. Okay, she is 14 right now. She's just 14. I can't, I can't even go with the blue archive, you know, saying that everyone's college girl because they gave us a fucking number here, bro. She's 14. What kind of 14-year-old looks like this? All right. She's basically one of the most important assets. Yes, appraisal skill OP. Mother? We, we, have, we have siblings? We have siblings. Twin brother and sister. All right, what are they good at? Uh, infantry, right? We got we got an S rank at infantry here. Archery, cavalry, that's what they're kind of good at. And this side, kind of like the opposite, right? Strategist, Avril. So one side seems to be more of like... Uh, more in more more combat, you know, related, right? They're infantry, cavalry, archer, but the other side is like more strategist, right? Strategist, more like lead, more like planning. So they cover like each other's bases, the things that they're weak at. Hmm? Family of hunters. Is that that orange-haired kid that we haven't seen yet? Yeah, that kid in the opening, right? I think this is the final kid because we we have the four characters we're missing one right now that's seen in the opening it's that orange hair kid right over here the highlight is in their brothers though and not the little kid hmm. where talent dwells the horse's name is macaroni okay charlotte has some kind of winged pet too this is the source of her growth right over here this sandwich bro what happens when you actually feed a girl some proper food? And that's like the theory for Konosuba as well. And this is all head, this is all head cannon, right? It's like random people come with bullshit reasoning. But like the reason Megumin is so flat, you know, the reason why she's a token lolly at her age is because they just grew up impoverished. That's what happens when you're just homeless, I guess. So one of these days, we just gotta have an anime where a homeless girl has just just looks like she just stacked. You know, we gotta have one of those to contra to basically prove this wrong. <laughs> Hey, there's a lot of fan service now. <laughs> if it goes faster, the titties are just gonna jiggle more and up and up and up, dude. <laughs> it's gonna bounce even harder, dude. <laughs> you're kinda heavy, Charlotte. I'm not gonna lie, Charlotte. You, you kinda... You, you kinda stack now. Okay, Ritsu and Charlotte kinda fights over ours, huh? I mean, if we're talking about pure destructive capability between Ritz and Charlotte, probably Charlotte. 100% Charlotte. But Ritz is kinda just more... 
more well-rounded and everything, right? So kind of like jack of all trades. Well, not really jack of all trades. He's a pretty, it's like queen or king of all trades, but she's like an ace in one thing. <laughs> this thing is bigger than his head, bro. Actually bigger than his head. Anyways, Whoa. family of hunters. <laughs> These two siblings are apparently the ones that we're supposed to be excited for, but they just look like the most NPC characters, right? Just look at them, bro. It's the little sibling, I think that's more important. A praise. What are they good at? Alright. I guess I'm kind of focused too much on the, the letters, but I guess the prowess and the... I, I don't know, I guess the prowess is kind of important. Yeah, they look like Genshin NPCs, dude. Dudes, I've been fucking talking to Monstad for a fucking daily quest for some shit. Charlotte really loves food. Bald! Bald! Charlotte loves eating, huh? That's why she's growing a lot. Sue? The fuck is a Sue? It's like a boar. <laughs> no manners. Charlotte's always like a wild animal, though. Give me your kids. That sounds weird. But where's the little sibling, bro? Where are they at? The dad's so fucking excited to just send the kids off to this, you know, the, the rich people. Because that means that, you know, more money and financial security for him too, right? Oh, finally, get these kids get the fuck out of here. Yes, enlist them to war. Okay, great. Now, what about the little bro, though? Where's the little bro at? Rosel, name mentioned. What is this kid good at? <laughs> is that him right there? Sneaking in for some food? Yo, what's up? <laughs> Y'all ever have like parents come over? Like you, you ever like uh, have parents' friends like uh, come over and they're all at the dinner place and you're like, fuck, there's people outside. I don't want to fucking leave. And I'm just like stuck in my room. So I like sometimes like sneak out and trying to get some food and get back in. I could totally relate to this, bro. Many times this has happened. Very shy kid. True, what does that mean? Is it a half-brother? What is it? Uh, it's five-year-old kid, Rosal Kisha. What about the letters? Strategist. There it is. Ariel Smith, Builder Strategist. So, less of a fighter, more of logistics, strategist, leadership behind the scene. Alright! He's gonna be some kind of, like, a innovator. R&D department. Another historical figure compared. So, like, what we have to look for is not really the number on the left side, because that's his current, but rather the potential, like, cap, right? 109. That's what we got to be really looking out for. That plus, obviously, the letters don't change, right? Like, for example, the ingenuity, 40 not, 45 out of 109, obviously, we can increase it as it goes, and there's, like, a cap. But the, the letters here, this is pretty much just, like, a static thing that you can't really change, right? <laughs> Some Chinese warlord, I forget. Alright, we gotta post the kid. Nah, y'all just don't know how to use his talents properly. I guess they never really knew how to use Rosal's talents, so they think that he's like useless to them, huh? No, 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 you, you don't really have to fight. And it kind of makes sense, because, like, listen, Ars is, like, five, seven, six, I don't know how old he is, but he, like, he's, like, a grown-ass man before, right? So, like, this is an actual five-year-old kid. This makes a lot of sense. What kind of fucking five-year-old kid would want to do this shit, bro? <laughs> Honestly, I did the same shit. I'd be like, fuck that noise, man. I'm going back in my room. We'll somehow reach out to him. I mean, this has happened to fucking every one of them, right? It's like, okay, how do, what do we do? We find a talent that's usually... And, and the talented person is usually someone we would never expect to be talented. Then we ask them, and they're like, no, I don't really want to. Some stuff happens with their backstory. We save them. They're like, okay, then we want to do it. Yeah, Rich was kind of the same shit too, right? Charlotte's there. We had to convince Rich. It wasn't as hard, but yeah, both of them too, right? Uh -huh. What's wrong with that kid? We don't need him to fight. There's other things he can do. He likes reading books, huh? We should show him that we have a lot of books at home. Really? Wait, wait. By his age, the son of a hunter should be chopping wood and training with the bow. Damn. 
Yo, back in the day, I guess they didn't fuck around. A five-year-old kid would be chopping wood and training with the bow. What is a five-year-old kid these days doing, bro? They fucking playing fucking Roblox or some shit. They, they're on their fucking iPad. They don't, they don't, they don't, they're on talking TikTok. I guess that's the difference, though. When you're actually out there trying to survive, right? <laughs> That's right, strategist. Less fighting, more planning. This is a classic example of how some people's talents are never truly realized because they think that they have to do this one thing, but they're actually way better at other things. And then after they fail at the thing that they're not good at, then they think that they're a failure. It's like the saying, should a fish be trying to climb a tree? But sometimes people get so tunnel vision, they think that their only purpose in life is to climb a tree without them realizing that they're an actual fish. Sounds ridiculous what I'm saying, but ask yourself this. Should a fish try to be climb a tree? No, they should be fucking swimming somewhere else. But some people actually can never realize this and all their innate talents and in figuring out what they're good at, is just completely wasted because they tunnel vision on one thing. So sometimes it's actually not a bad thing to like give up on your quote unquote dreams. It really is context dependent, but sometimes you need to really take a deep look at yourself and ask, are you really cut out for this one, one thing that you're trying to really ground out and be good at? Because you could be really good at something else and you could be wasting time right now trying to do something that you're not meant to do, but something else you just don't even know that you could be amazing in that field, right? But that's the hard thing to figure out. It's like, what are you actually good at and how can I like grind towards that? Now, nah, if you had an appraisal skill, it should be so easy, huh? Books? Yeah, we got a lot of books at home. No, you're good at reading. You're not bad at everything. You're just bad at hunting related things. There you go. Just baiting with the library. I got a lot of books, kid. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I mean, he'll have his own freedom, but he'll be under us. He's close with the only chance? It's a cute dog pet. It's a flying dog pet. Okay, all three of them come over. Yes, she'll show you to the barack. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't really too lecherous. Uh, the one on the left, you know, the one on the left definitely sees. <laughs> They're like, what, 11 and 12 and she's like 14 or some shit? <laughs> this kid is a complete crybaby. Holy sh... How's he gonna reach for the books on the top shelves? Reach will pick up the books in the top shelf for him. <laughs> nah, he's probably still in the library reading everything. 100% sleeping, right? Yep, there he is. So he's just smart as fuck. Wait, I swear to god, it was at 49 before. Did it go down for a bit? No, it was at 46. Never mind, never mind. Just reading books, bro. Now we stay in. We stay in here, right? The kid can't even read. What about this? Does he... What? I guess the brothers don't understand how brilliant his mind actually is. He thinks that the kid can't even read? What are you talking about? Wait, what? He can't read? Wait, wait, wait. No, hold up. He's illiterate, but he can understand how it what? Hold the fuck up. His ingenuity is going up, but apparently he can't read. But the books, I thought. No, no, no. It, it, it's, it's his, un, his it's own misunderstanding that like these hunter brothers, they can't fucking read. So they never learn because the mom kind of passed away. But no, he knows how to read, right? He got a little bit from Russell. He understood how to read based off that little interaction. He can read. The, bro the brothers just think that he can't read because the brothers can't read, right? I just taught myself. 
小さい頃にお母さんが本を読んでくれをさせてみたんだそしたら読めるようになってた Just works, bro. That's the crazy shit. A three year old learning how to read like that. I can kind of relate, but not really. Because, like, when I immigrated to Canada, I think I was like, what? 12 years old? Yeah, I think I was like, no, no, no. I was like 10. I was like 10 years old, I think. Nine or 10 years old, I, I think. And I didn't really know how to read English, but like, I knew how to read the letters, the alphabets, how it sounded. And then I would basically watch like Yu-Gi-Oh. I would watch like Pokemon on Yu-Gi-Oh, which was airing on the TV. And I would have the subtitles on. And I would hear what they're saying. And I would try to match what's on the subtitles. And that is actually how I learned better English than the English academies back in Korea that I attended. That shit didn't fucking make sense to me. But just like watching hours and hours of TV every day, just like reading the subtitles, hearing what they're saying, it kind of started to make sense. But this kid's doing when he's three. He built different. Yeah. They probably don't even understand though, because they're only their life is just like hunting only. Hunting with traps. So we're going to show the brother that his knowledge is actually very valuable by utilizing hunting with traps, which will yield more food compared to what the brothers are doing without traps, right? And then they'll be convinced, oh shit, this little kid is actually genius. Bro works out at the library. It just needs a little bit more confidence, man. They could have actually been such like mean big brothers that like bullies little bro for not being able to hunt. That might have been more fun. I don't know. Did Rosal build this? I don't know. Did he? Okay, he made. Well, he did. He didn't make this! You think this little kid can fucking make them? Nah, he, he basically architected it, right? He kind of like drew out the plan. This is what it's gonna look like, and then basically that's what happened. Oh, so he was thinking about his dad the entire time! Smart. Just yellow paint baits these idiots to just run in. And that would be funny though. It, it's a trap no human would fall for. It'd be funny if some fucking idiot ran into it, though. No way! Herbs upside down! Amazing! Baiting children and their mothers with these herbs to get into the trap so we can fucking butcher them. Amazing! Look how cute they are. I'm sorry, we gotta eat you. So it's conservation here. We don't want them to go extinct. Kids come in, we raise them. This is a five-year-old kid, by the way. Big brain boy. Oh, he got serious all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna war, kid. <laughs> You're gonna... <laughs> no, it's not like that, but the way he's kind of saying it. The kids yearn for the mines. They gotta work in the fucking minefield. No. Nah, he's gonna get a cushy fucking office job, dude. No, it's a misunderstanding. Dad cares about you. It's... He could have definitely said it in a better way, huh? This is some Zagana Nepi shit. Like, bro, why'd you have to say it like that? So maybe he thinks dad hates him because of that, huh? Hmm. Shit, things are getting fucking dark all of a sudden. On the anniversary of her death, she... Ugh. No, you did it! That's fucked! Holy shit! Okay. Big bros and father. <laughs> Watch them all just shit on Russell right now. No, could you imagine? <laughs> this is supposed to be like a sentimental moment that I think Raza will eavesdrop and basically hear that the dad cares. But could you imagine? It's just like the dad shows up and the big bro's like, yeah, a little bro killed the mom, right, dad? Yeah, fuck that kid. I'm going to send him off to fucking war. <laughs> no, nah, this is going to be a wholesome moment. 
The moon is so shiny, just like his bald head. For his sake. Oh, he feels guilty? It's not your fault. You're a hunter family. I mean, you don't got the appraisal skill, but I guess he did kind of fixate too much on that. I feel like... He's going a little bit too harsh on himself. Misunderstanding. If only you could have said it to the kid. No! That's not the only way. What? No, that's the most extreme way. You you want him to do all some fucking Itachi Sasuke shit, bro? You lack hatred. Damn. This show hitting on those themes again like I was talking about, man. This show is actually so beautiful. It's actually beyond just the shitty trashy isekai, dude. That bag is bigger than him almost. Oh, come on, we gotta have a good depart. No, you, you can't be pulling this tsundere shit. Here we go. <gasps> Come on, get it off your chest. Get it off your chest. Is dad crying? <gasps> oh, is this death flags? I can't tell. Oh, God. This show just keeps getting better, man. See, the, the misunderstanding is the reason why this is happening, right? Like, if they just, if they just, like, talk about their feelings immediately... And you can't get like moments like this. So and that's the same shit in like Elf Pride too with Zagana Nephi, you know? So it's like the misunderstandings happen, but at the end of the day, it's to resolve itself in a very dramatic and emotional way. I hope that's not a death flag though, when they're talking about one day in the future can we live like that. The dad's actually gonna be so lonely now though by himself. He needs to get like a pet or something. They're more than retainers. That's what he's trying to say. He cares more about the family resolution than like collecting Razel. R is just showing that he's a benevolent leader. I hope these two don't just become cannon fodder in the future and just die off and forget about him. Maybe they do die immediately. And that's another episode of this anime isekai that I thought was just going to be another generic isekai, but it just keeps getting better. Mm, there has been crazy power fantasy moments in this episode, but it just keeps tackling on the themes that I'm talking about, which is like... It's not... Uh, rather than the themes I'm talking about, it's more like this show can get very emotional at times. The, the whole story was just basically about misunderstanding between the dad and Russell about how he didn't think that he had any talent, and the dad was fixating on the things that he did wrong, with the mom dying when he was kind of like... It, the mom died when he was kind of born. No, the mom didn't die when he was born, but... The mom, he, he basically blames himself for the mom dying. And, and he thought that maybe dad hates him too. But it's just like, if you just talked about it, then, you know, this wouldn't be happening. But if you talked about it, we wouldn't have this wholesome moment of, you know, them crying and saying, no, I always loved you. Oh, my God. But that's another addition to our crew. Seems like we have a strategist. We also had the two siblings, right? One of them was like a fighter. One of them was like another strategist. So we're gearing up. I think this is the final addition to our group. I'm expecting another time skip pretty soon. I think we can get there by like, you know, in episode one, there was like a time skip. Well, episode one started with the dad's, you know, dad's like funeral. So I think we've gathered all the main characters and now we might actually get into some kind of like war succession kind of arc. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.